Hi everyone, welcome to Erky's World. Um, I'm glad to be filming on somewhat of a schedule now. Um, I just had to take that week off to just take time to myself and my son and of course daddy and um, just regroup and try to adjust. So now I feel good and um, I know this is after the birth, but I want to share with you guys what was in my hospital bag that I somewhat had to quickly pack. <laughs> But um, luckily before, I made a lovely dandy binder. Um, I posted this on my Instagram and everyone's like, yeah, you're doing too much. But it actually helped me. Um, and in here, I did have the packing list. But let me start off with this. I think it's a good idea because you never know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, you never know uh, what you actually need, what you don't. But um Preparing this before really helped me. So in here, um, I have important contacts and phone numbers, the very first page, because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, something emergency might happen and you can't find your phone or something, or they need to get in contact with somebody important. So I put, of course, mine, the phone number, the father of the baby, his phone number, my doula, my backup doula, my OB, pediatrician, and then of course my parents' number and uh, daddy's parents' numbers too. Then next I have the packing list. Um, I'm gonna go over everything that I put in there and at the end I'll explain what I actually used and what I thought I needed um, that I didn't pack. Then I had a birth preferences sheet. Um, it's like your birth plan or your birth wishes. Just something that you would write down and go over with your doctor and go over with your nurses. Um, since I was really firm on having a natural birth, I felt like this was very necessary. Um, then I had copies of my ID, my social, and my insurance cards. Let me show you. And then um, when I mentioned in my stork tour, hospital stork tour, they did give me like the patient agreement and consent and um, your rights, just like a pre-registration form. I put that in there. And then um, I didn't know what was gonna happen again. Like maybe you get super drugged up and I didn't know how fast the birth certificate people would come, but I wrote down his name, his first name, his second name, his middle name and his last name, just in case. And I bolded it and made sure that they spelled it right because um, I think my oldest sister, her name was spelled wrong on her birth certificate, so yeah, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Then um, I just had extra of the these inserts for all the stuff that they gave me after, and you can see I took up one, two, three, four, five extra ones, and then I just had like a folder for loose paperwork that didn't really need to be in those little slips and then that's it so there's things on my packing list that I didn't bring and um, I wasn't even able to finish buying all the stuff that I wanted to put in my hospital bag but for what I put in and what I needed and what I actually used I definitely overpacked <laughs> so let me start off with um, my clothes um, I brought the, I bought this robe from Target. It's super soft. I like I love this, but um, I just wanted something to cover me and not have to like put on and put off if I just wanted to throw something on. This would have been so easy. Um, and then I bought this long sleeve gown, but it was a button up, so I know I wanted to nurse. So hear my baby boy um i know i wanted to nurse so it was it, it was easier for me to nurse if i were this but i didn't <laughs> then my going home clothes i didn't know what i was gonna feel like if i wanted something tight if i wanted something loose so i brought my soccer pants my soccer sweatpants and then i'm wearing my leggings now but i wore um i brought these leggings and then just a tank top. It's hot and cold here in Texas, so I didn't know if I was gonna feel hot or if I was gonna be cold. 
and then a loose shirt again I didn't know if I wanted to be loose or if I wanted something tight and then of course a sweater but I made sure it was a zip-up sweater because um, pullover it just would have been hard to get a nurse then uh, nursing bras I brought two kinds this one I also got at Target it was just like um, it's kind of like folded over and then you kind of just put this over I mean under your boob and then I also got this one this one also has no wire underneath but it has a little bit of padding but you can take it out if you want just kidding this isn't mm, it's a little padded I think it's just there for um, like if you leak a little bit I don't know but this one has the clip and it has like a little strap thing I actually kind of prefer this one a little bit more maybe I just have a wrong size in this one but this one like keeps writing up so I think I need to get a bigger size but I bought two nursing bras and then oh my nursing pads I think I bought like three pairs so I brought a total of six and then funny thing I bought nipple butter and uh, it didn't come in on time so the next day when daddy went home to get some things um, he brought this in it because it actually got delivered when I was in the hospital and then I brought then I brought um, essential oil diffuser I really wanted to use this but I was kind of not thinking about this by the time I wanted to put this on <laughs> and then of course the oils I brought lavender I love lavender I always put this on at night um, I always put it on in the diffuser at night and then balance is a grounding blend um, my sister just sent this to me just a little extra so um, this one smells really good too it's good for at night too Then moving on to my bath essentials, um, if you haven't seen my makeup tutorial, all of the makeup that I use every day, like my simple but natural but whatever look, everyday look, <laughs> all fits in here. So I was able to just bring this and then I have a separate like to go travel bag for me and daddy and so that's why I don't have to keep packing it it's just like all extra like travel size stuff that I just keep in here so if we like go out on um, a little vacation I could just bring this and not have to worry about packing and unpacking our toothbrush that we have here so I have cotton swabs q-tips chapstick I didn't use the chapstick but I remember licking my lips so many times and I wish I put it on but chapstick is a really good um, thing to have I don't know if I was gonna do my hair or not but I bought the Tresemme Mini's travel size um, mousse and hairspray he's still sleeping then I brought uh, makeup wipes. This is just the Neutrogena um, travel size. Then I have uh, my body wash. I love the Dove body wash. So I had to, I don't think they have travel sizes, so I had to buy um, a little travel size thing and just squirted it in there. Um, then lotion, Avina lotion. I love this lotion. Um, this is just something that I got. I think I don't know what I got it from, but it was it was um, just something that I had. Otherwise, I would have brought like the Tresemme or whatever travel size. But I have these extra, so I just brought these shampoo and conditioner, tres, uh, herbal essence. I love the smell of their stuff, but I feel like it's not good for your hair. But this one smells good. But yeah, 
Um, then of course, floss, toothbrushes, and toothpaste. Again, travel size. And then I brought like four hair ties. I lost one, Daddy had one on his wrist, and then I had like two extra ones in here, and bobby pins. So that all fits in there. I love having this extra bag because I hate packing and repacking stuff when you're traveling, so that was good. I brought like three of these always discreet underwear. I don't know why I only brought three, because if I really used this the whole time I was there, I definitely want to run out, like, the first two hours. But, um, they give you these thingies. They were super uncomfortable, but I was bleeding so much that I didn't really care of what I was wearing. So, um, yeah, they, they give you these if you don't want to wear these. <laughs> these are honestly more comfortable. Um, I only put it on when I was leaving, but I was like, dang, why didn't I just wear this the whole time? Because it's way more comfortable and easier to put on and off. They give you this and then like those super thick, long diaper, well, this is diaper, but they're like super uncomfortable and thick um, pads, which at that point I didn't care because I just kept going through them. So um, that's why I just wore these anyway. These are kind of expensive. I don't know if it's expensive or not for what it is, but I think this one was, it's a 19 pack and I think it was like $10. I don't remember exactly, but I need to know more. Anyway, and then they do give you these uh, cold packs, ice pack um, pads. So you just pop them and then it's like your pad instead of wearing those other pads. This actually has like an ice pack with it. I tried to stock up on these, like every time, <laughs> every time the nurse came in, I was like, can I get some more? I don't have any more. She's like, yeah, yeah. So I would just like stash it. Trust me, I brought home like a big bag full of these, but I went through them. So these ones I bought off Amazon. It was about, I think it was like $30 for 24. But by the time I realized I needed more, I needed it like the next day. I love these. These feel so good. Um, I paid for it the next day shipping, which was like an extra $10. So it was like $40 for 24 But if you plan ahead, um, buy extra these or try to stock up. My friend said that they want to give her more, which kind of sucks because you're at the hospital. Like they should give that to you. But she said that they want to give her more. So... I felt like these really helped me out. Another thing that I bought after is, that I wish I did have, was the Tux Medicated Cooling Pads. This is with, this is with Witch Hazel. Um, I kind of don't like them because they kind of like scrunch up in there and it like, not really pinches, but it kind of, it doesn't really feel comfortable. So I bought the Mama Earth um, Perinatal Spray. I think this was called I'll put a picture here but um yeah so I'm gonna try that when it comes in it should come in on Sunday and then um they tell you to make sure that you poop but honestly I don't really poop every day anyway so I just bought stool softeners because yeah anyways um I think that's all what i actually used is probably nothing <laughs> honestly like when you're there you're kind of um just in that hospital mode so you just want to wear the hospital shit and just ruin their stuff and not your nice stuff because i was just i just kept bleeding so i didn't want to ruin all my stuff that i just bought so i just wore the hospital robe and those uncomfortable panty pads things and then um oh also in the hospital they give you like this numbing spray or something like um relieves pain <clears throat> i used it once and it was kind of burning so i didn't really use it again and then oh and then they give you this uh, little squirt bottle so after um every time you go to the bathroom and you pee um, you just squirt so that you clean yourself up. Instead of wiping, you have to pat. 
so just something to keep in mind just going over what else I did on my packing list of what I thought I needed um, oh I brought my camera of course my camera charger my phone charger um, I bought extra batteries and an extra memory card because I wanted to film everything and luckily we didn't film as much and we were able to get everything that we wanted and able to and were able to charge the camera enough time to record the next thing so um yeah i bought those three um it was a battery pack of two and a extra memory card so those three things came in after i gave birth so i was like wow i just bought those stuff and i didn't really even use it but i would have used it if if it got here on time. Um, of course, being your phone charger, that was very, very important. Um, if you can, try to buy the 10 feet long ones. Those come in handy so much because you don't have to be like so close. Like it was hard for me to charge my phone and be on it at the same time while I was on the bed. So if you can get the 10 feet one, those are so handy dandy. Um, I didn't bring socks because I just wanted to use the hospital socks they give you socks slippers i was gonna buy the slippers at walmart they're like three dollars because i didn't want to wear my own slippers there but i ended up having to actually i was using daddy's um slides because <laughs> i didn't bring mine but um that came in handy um honestly just buy just buy like cheap ones maybe the, even the dollar tree has some so that you can just ruin it and throw it out after because I didn't want to bring those germs back into the house, those hospital germs, but um, it looks like I had to. So I just washed them off when I came home. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. We did bring a big blanket for daddy. The labor and delivery room that I was in and the post room, the post delivery room that I was in, it had their own thermostat, so that was really good. Um, so I didn't really need it, but Daddy for sure used it because it was more comfortable for him. Um, I brought a pillow also. Get your own case, like separate case to throw out also. Just when we came home, I just threw the pillowcase and the blanket straight into the washer because again, I didn't want to bring those germs in. Here I have a birth ball, a yoga mat. Uh, my hydro flask because the water stays cold in there uh, light snacks and a speaker those things I did not bring um, I wanted to bring my speaker but I forgot it and I realized I forgot it on the way to the hospital <laughs> and then a styrofoam I wanted to keep my placenta but um, just but again everything happens so fast and just I wasn't thinking about that so if you are able to smoothly have your life run delivery I highly 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 suggest that you save your placenta and get them encapsulated um, they help with just getting your, those nutrients that you had in that placenta um, it also helps with postpartum depression um, I know that's real I'm not feeling it I'm super happy with my baby um, Daddy's stepping it up and helping around the house, so um, I feel like I'm not having it, but staying positive, God, it's, everything's in God's hands, so. And for Daddy, I had thick blanket to change the clothes, basketball shorts and slippers. He bought his slides like a smart, smarty pants, and um, I packed him two changes of clothes. Actually, no, I only brought him one change of clothes and um, some basketball shorts. I think it was like sweats, basketball shorts, a shirt, and two shirts. I don't remember exactly, but I brought him a few things. And then for the baby, um, of course this baby binder, very handy. I suggest you do this, you guys. So for the baby, um, I, the only thing I was super excited about was to take hospital pictures. So this is what I brought for his hospital pictures. Um, it's like a cute little um, button-up polo onesie and this little crown because he's in a little prince. It's a crown hat. 
so cute from Target. He didn't fit this, by the way. It was way too big on him. It just looked like a freaking... It just looked way too big on him. And then this one, of course, was way too big on him, too. The only hats that fit him right now is the hospital hat that they put on him and um, this Jordan hat. And I think I'm going to go buy more Jordan hats because, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so he had an outfit for pictures, but it didn't work out. So I think he only had his swaddle on. I didn't know until I put two and two together that they were saying that he was small, but... Again, I, I didn't believe them, so I just brought two outfits of the newborn. I bought this long sleeve with some sweats, and then a uh, onesie with the long pants and the long, the long sleeves. And then I bought two outfits of the zero to three months. I just brought these sweats and a long sleeve onesie. And then the long sleeve, long pants onesie. These are super cute too. I can't wait till they wear these. Then I brought him two swaddle blankets. This was part of the idea of his um, his photo shoot, hospital photo shoot. I brought this one. It has like a little pattern. And then this one's just the plain blue. They're super soft. Um, I got them from Target. Again. <laughs> There's not a lot of options here in um, in a. Um, Midland, <laughs> middle of nowhere land, that's what I call it. <laughs> so it's really just kind of like Walmart and Target. They have a few like small boutiques, but I never went in there yet. <laughs> then I brought him an extra hat. This kind of fit in those little loose, but maybe if I wash it a thousand times it'll fit. I forgot to bring him socks, so when daddy went home, the next day he came back and brought him socks. Again, these are too big, They're, his feet are so skinny. But like the length is like perfect, so you got like skinny long feet. <laughs> but these came off so easy, so I don't really put socks on him. And then I didn't bring an emery board, but bring an emery board because their nails get long so fast. And um, so I just we had to buy mittens for him. Um, for the meantime, I don't suggest putting mittens on them because. Um, that's how they learn like their body parts they just like suck on their hands and it's self-soothing so um just something to keep in mind and a burp cloth i don't think this is a really a burp cloth i think it's a swaddle blanket but i don't like the material on this it's kind of like rough so i'm gonna just use this as a burp cloth i know they say that the hospital provides it but i just brought them anyway um just a pack of wipes and extra diapers they only had the newborn diapers there, and they were a tad too big on him, so we had to keep buying um, preemie diapers. These are preemie, but um, they gave us newborn a pack of newborn, but these fit him way better. Then I'm trying out this company called California Baby. It was suggested to me by my sister. Um, they're paraben-free, organic, um, no added fragrance and all that extra stuff that you don't want on your baby. <laughs> um, this one came with the diaper rash ointment, sunscreen lotion, and then this one's the everyday lotion. This is hand sanitizer. And then um, I did bring a love and up. I'm trying to keep him away from pacifiers, but I just brought this just in case. This is so cute, the line. Now, the baby stuff that I actually used was probably nothing. <laughs> we were mostly skin to skin, so um, he was in his diaper most of the hospital stay or in his swaddle bank, in his swaddle blanket. When he left, he was in the long sleeve onesie, and then when we got home, I just took it off because I just wanted to keep doing skin to skin with him. Um, yeah, other than that, I didn't really use anything that I brought. <laughs> and then last but not least, I put everything in this Ricardo mini suitcase. It's the travel case. Yeah, just those are things just in mind to keep in mind when you do go to the hospital. I know a lot of people do their what's in my hospital bag, but a lot of people have different things and you just don't know. Like you're a first time mom, you don't know what you're actually going to use. Um, definitely for my next one, 
I know what to bring. <laughs> Nothing? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions of what I brought, what I didn't bring, where I bought any of this stuff. Um, yeah, just let me know and I'll for sure answer. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys on Erky next time. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on Erky's World. <laughs> Bye.